What up everybody? Pokemon Go update 0.55.0 just rolled out to my device at least. So I'm gonna check stuff out. So I'm gonna boot it up and we're gonna see how long it takes to load. So originally this bar would fill up and it would just sit there for a while. It's still sitting there. No, that, that, that was that was better than before. Now test number two, I hit the button and then I hit this button. Well, look at that. First try. <laughs> this fills me with so much joy because it would never work. I would just sit here and like reset it and resetting it would work, but only after like six tries and that was the first try guys. Awesome. It's an app update. It fixed stuff. I'm stoked. But the people want more, Niantic. We want Gen 2, oh my gosh. Personally, when I look through the data mine of the previous update, one, no graphical assets for any of these new moves, and two, things like gender and species were only in the debugging phase. Sure, that's near final, I guess, but to me, that sounded a lot like, hey, it's gonna be a while. That's what it sounded like. Honestly, it's like walking into mom's kitchen a week before Thanksgiving and seeing some ingredients for gravy and getting all excited that the turkey is coming. It's gonna take a while, guys. We don't even have the bird yet. That doesn't, that doesn't work. It's like walking by a lot and seeing a sign that says Bojangles coming soon. And you're like, and then going on the internet and wondering like, oh my gosh, Bojangles, it'll be here. It'll be here soon. That Bojangles is gonna take a couple weeks. I've gotta get the chicken there. I gotta get them biscuits and those bow berries, whatever they are, magic. I'm actually talking from experience. There's a Bojangles here, and it wasn't there when I moved here. And so when I saw the sign, I was like, <sighs> and then it took like three weeks, and I was very upset. That's what this is like, guys. <laughs> they just released the debugger. That means those features are a little ways off. Okay, granted that's what I said about nearbys and literally the week after nearbys was released. So maybe, maybe hopefully, maybe I should just be a naysayer and say it's never coming guys. It's never coming and then it'll come tomorrow. It'll be like Bow! in your face Jay. Yeah, in my face, please. Gen 2, please. Anywho, the Silk Road has finished their data mine and it is as such. There are possible RAM optimizations, which is cool. Dude, anything that would keep this from draining my battery as fast as it does, this is awesome. And they saw there were some Pokemon Go Plus device fixes, which you witnessed. I almost went into tears. I'm not joking. So they found a new term in the code referring to critical catch. It's a random occurrence where the Pokeball just shakes once and has the vastly increased capture rate. And it's more likely to happen the more you catch. That's according to a Redditor based on what happens in the main games. Who knows that'll be rolled out for Pokemon Go. That would that probably sounds like it would make sense. I'm skipping over stuff that I don't get. <laughs> that, you know, I'm just blazing over it. There's the unknown badge. We talked about unknowns being kind of like the alphabet Pokemon. So there's one for every letter of the alphabet plus exclamation point and question mark. Sure. This, there's gonna be a badge for that. Now, whether it's gonna be something like catch one of every kind, all 28, or it would just be kind of simple, like the ones we have now, which are just like, catch a bunch of these. <laughs> that would be cool if they were able to delineate, like be able to say like, catch one of each. But I haven't seen any badges that kind of fit that description yet. Most badges are like, catch this many. And we've got four new sponsor codes. Steamer, Hood, Slow Cooker, and Mixer. Whatever that could mean. I mean, you go get your carpet cleaned and they all have a Pokestop. <laughs> that would be the weirdest tie-in sponsorship. But uh, yeah, chime in on what you think that could be. So really appreciate the work those guys at the Still Frodo are doing. And this post brought to you by Bojangles. So that's a super riveting update about a data mine. In all fairness, I'm still super excited that this just paired on the first try. That is all. Hi everybody, and welcome to the series titled Frantic January Catch-Up. Apparently not frantic enough because it has been February for at least five minutes now. So, this is taking longer than I thought, but the hope is I'll get all of January in this 
one video. Let's see, will he succeed? I don't know, but it's February 1st. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Frantic January catch-up is a failure, and it shall go down as the most spectacular fail of right now. Guaranteed. Not guaranteed. So yeah, um, I'm going to edit for the next couple hours and then hopefully sleep a little bit and then get up and see what you guys think about the video. <laughs> Why should it be different from every other video I've made so far? Enjoy. So I was downtown earlier today and I got a notification that there was a Porygon nearby. I didn't know if I was close enough or anything. I decided to check my phone and I looked through the recents. And Pogo Plus had caught a Porygon. Now, I didn't know I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know you could catch something you never saw before, but you can. Super anticlimactic. And to prove that it's my first ever Porygon. Let's look in there. Well, okay, I seen two. I seen two because I saw one in a gym. I didn't know they counted that prior to, you know, seeing one in the wild and catching it. But yeah, I saw one in a gym. I only caught one. So it's my first ever Porygon and Pogo Plus caught it. I didn't, I didn't even catch it. <laughs> Let it be a lesson for me. Next time I'm out hunting a specific Pokemon and I know I'm near-ish the area, I should just stop using Pogo Plus. It's got Zen Headbutt and Psybeam and its IVs are lousy. But I'm keeping it because he's my only one. They got a 5k egg hatch right now. Nothing else I need from a 5k but a you know, shelter. You know, I, I can use another Togepi. Is, uh, still at, what is it? I'm still at 39 candies. It's a lot of walking. It's five kilometers for that sucker. Also, I'm trolling this. But, you know, I figured why not? Why not put a Porygon in the gym? That is the egg situation. What's up, guys? On this snowy day, there's like one inch of snow, but Tennessee Department of Transportation. They're not used to snow, so it's just car pileups everywhere because of one inch of snow. And a Pikachu just spawned, and as you can see, no more Santa Pikachus, sadly. The day will soon arrive where I'll probably whittle down my 70 Santa Pikachus I have down to just like one or two. That day is not today, because they're still special to me. So right now, we're almost at level 34. So let's drop a lucky egg and just start doing some mass evolutions. Evolution. Time to do this for about half an hour. even recording. Ah! I hit level 34. You'll see it right here. Ah! My screen was capturing. So you'll see the whole thing, but my camera here only records about 20 minutes at a time, and at some point it cut out. I got another million two hundred fifty thousand to go. Actually, I'm only, I'm already 58,650 in, so I actually don't remember how much XP I got from those mass evolutions, but you'll see it. You'll see it on the in the game. We've got a double spawn of Squirtles at work, my office. Still here on the snow day when the office is closed because I just gotta get this project out. Office closed because of one inch of snow. Who knows, maybe I'll just go out tonight and then work on Pokemon Go videos on the weekend. That, that's a viable option actually. Quartel, so two Squirtles. 481 Squirtle candies. Just gonna make that 482 right here. And another one. Boop. Hey! I'm getting a lot of Pichus. I'm not complaining. I love Pichu because he's so cute. But could use a Togepi. You know what I'm saying? Got all the best of them, best qualities, HP, attack is great too. Stats are the best I've ever seen. Cool, Togepi found a candy. Cool, so I'm at 40 Togepi candies, 10 Togepi candies to go. I'm gonna be really sweet if that egg was a Togepi. If not, then I, I, can, do, I can do more walking. I need to walk, cause I'm out of shape. Bye bye. 
Sorry about the hair. That's crazy, but there's a pair of Vulpixes by my house. So let me catch them. I'm in my kitchen. It's really cold out, so I'm planning on wearing a hat. Yeah, it's like 12 degrees out, so I need to, to keep warm. Let's see what this guy's at. Battle with the best of them. Best quality is HP. Attack is great too. Defense is great too. Yo! Just got 100% Vulpix right by my house. That's awesome. All right, let's go for the next one. Can't, you can't get two perfects at once. It's not, not gonna happen. Great throw. Great ball. Three, nice. Room for improvement. We got a perfect, we got a perfect IV Vulpix. I'm happy. So I was looking through my items and I realized I had a ton of lures like in the 30s. And the lure event's going on right now, so lures last an hour. I think I might have went a little overboard. I lured up all of Centennial Park today. Just, just for giggles. So for an hour, that's what the park's gonna look like. I think that's pretty great. It's just gonna get some awesome spawns. That's not an awesome spawn right there, but, you know. Come on, Togepi, please. No, ponytail. Hopefully that will lead to me getting a 10K egg. Yes! 10K egg! All right. So the only thing we got left is we have this 5K to walk out and then get another 10K. All right, the bell sprout. Hey, did we get another egg? Not yet. Hopefully. We get a 10K. Fingers crossed. This is pretty exciting. Okay, so for Christmas and my birthday, because they're back to back, my sister and husband got me a whole year of busted teas. So what that means is every month I get a code via email that gives me a free t-shirt with no shipping. So just basically they send me a free shirt every month. It's my size, because I picked it. So this month's shirt says, Ceci n'est pas une lune, or that is, not a moon. Or if you want to translate it more colloquially to what Alec Guinness says in Star Wars A New Hope, that's no moon, it's a space station. Oh, Pichu. It's like my fifth Pichu. Love it. Hopefully this ninth spot will be filled by 10k. Oh, it's a 5k. Yeah, I'm going home. Next time. I'm so sick of 5Ks. But if it's Togepi, I'll be happy. I'll be real happy if it's Togepi. It's not, it's not Togepi. No, 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 of course. My screen recorder just crashed, so I don't even know if it's working right now. But give me a 10K egg. Oh, it's a 2K? It's a 2K? I still haven't gotten my Cleffa yet, so I don't mind that one bit. This month's busted D. This is the one I picked for this month. Dopeness. Zubat! Why is Zubat still hatching? Take him out of there, guys. Starbucks. Give me an egg! Oh, it's a 5K! I was hoping for that last 10K. <sighs> oh my gosh! You guys, you guys seen this? 1366 Charizard! Wild spawn right here at my office. Almost freaking lost it just getting this camera up. I don't I don't have the arm set up or anything, so I'm just gonna have to put the camera down somewhere. 1366, don't freaking please don't run on me. Oh, that's a bright red circle. That's not a good throw. It's not a good throw. Oh no 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 stay stay stay. Okay. Yo, this is crazy. Oh, that wasn't a good throw anyway. My freaking finger's sticky. Why is it sticky? Look at the screen. No, 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 no. Don't do this to me. No, don't do that. That was bad. He jumped. He jumped. Don't, no, don't, don't. Okay. I think this has happened to every YouTuber in like the past two weeks is that Wild Charizard appears. It's weird because it's not. The event's not going on. And almost everyone I saw. Every, 
almost everyone I saw I ran away from, so don't run. You're still there. There we go. It's a great throw, but the last one was a great throw too when he jumped out. One, two, three. Oh, come on, don't do this. Don't do this to me. Stay, 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 stay. Chill. Chill out, man. That was terrible. I don't even want to look. He's going to run away. He's going to run. He's going to run. No, he's still there. Okay. Let's be strategic. Oh, freaking Charizard. Why are you such a jerk? Don't be a jerk to me. Be my friend. Be my friend. Be my uh, friend. Unless you have bad IVs, and I will transfer you. Yes! Yes! Okay. Okay, okay. Ember Dragon Claw. Mm -hmm. How did... How did you give me a hard time? There should be the room for improvement. I don't have a lot of Charizard, so he's staying. Woo-wee! 1366. I did catch a couple wild Charizards during the event, and they were super low CP. They were worthless. This one's got a decent CP. I'm gonna hold on to that. Hold on to the next to my 93 IV Charizard with another kind of <sighs> lame attack. I mean, Dragon Claw is not a bad move. It it's fast. Like as soon as you as soon as it delivers. You can dodge, so I like that. But I think it's DPS is still kind of lame. But anywho, that was that was awesome. Okay, we got a Machop at my office here, so oh, bad throw. Got him. Ooh. Come on, start you. Let's check our medals because we are so close. Huh. Yes. <laughs> I walked a thousand kilometers. I walked a thousand kilometers. Come on. Ooh. Ooh, Grimer. Awesome. To praise it. Real okay. Well, it's not a good Grimer, but it's a Grimer. 66 candies. I ain't mad. I like that. It's not as exciting as it was during the Christmas event, but still rare. And I still haven't gotten my gold Pikachu medal, so it's nice to see him. He doesn't have his hat. 536 CP. I'm here at Centennial. It's misting a little bit. I tracked him here using nearby. It's actually not raining that hard. Come on. Baby, come on. Baby, baby, come on. Come on, Togepi! Machop! I don't mind that. Awesome. I don't see a lot of Machops, so dopeness. Just quick update on my Togepi. My two Togepis that I've hatched have given me 27 candies, and then I walked for 22 more, and I just need uh, one more. In about 4.1 kilometers, I will have a Togetic. Hallelujah. I wasn't fast enough. I missed it by like a minute. But uh, Togepi found a candy, which means I have 50 Togepi candies. All right. This 84 IV Togepi. It's gonna be a Togepi dick. There we go. <laughs> the connection here is super slow, as you can tell. Yeah! Sweet. So I got a Togetic. Zen Headbutt Aerial A7 Care. I don't care, but I got a Togetic. Back to one candy. One candy. I'm gonna hit pause right there, guys. Uh, this video is on its way to being long. Sure than it already is. <laughs> so I decided to chop it in half and save the rest for video probably this weekend and hopefully we'll get all of January done. I know y'all are waiting for the day 
that I will be caught up giving you nothing but the most recent of my adventures. But I think the little mix of me giving a little bit of news in the intro into some old stuff is refreshing. I don't know. But if you like it, let me know. If you didn't like it, let me know. And if you enjoyed this and want to see more content or excited to see me actually catch up and tell you something recent, give that subscribe button a little love. And always love your feedback. I read everything in the comments. I may not respond to all of it anymore. I try. I really do. Love you guys. Your comments are amazing. And always, you can hit me up on Twitter and Instagram. They're, uh, they're down there in the description area. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you this weekend. Bye, guys.